The cutter bar on the Macdon R1 series disc mower has been equipped with a shear protection system designed to prevent excessive damage in the event that a disc comes into contact with a solid object. This system incorporates a threaded spindle designed to thread the disc upwards and above the other discs in the event of shear pin breakage. This minimizes contact with other discs and prevents damage to the cutter bed gear drives. To replace a damaged shear pin on a disc drive spindle, raise the header and park on a level surface. Shut the engine off and engage the cylinder safety lockout valves. Open the cutter bar doors and clean debris from the work area. Locate the spindle with the damaged shear pin. Remove the disc from that spindle. Remove the two M10 bolts and washers, being careful not to damage the bolts or threading. Remove both of the damaged shear pins using a hammer and punch. Identify the left hand or right hand markings on the spindle nut. Left hand spindle nuts have distinctive groove bevels on the corners while right hand spindle nuts do not. Left hand pinion shafts have distinctive grooves on the face while right hand pinions do not. It is important to identify the rotation direction to determine the threading of the nut. Align the slots in the hub with a hole in the shaft. Both shear pins must be oriented with the shear pin groove horizontal to the cutter bar for correct shearing strength. Use a hammer and punch to install one shear pin so that the outermost end is flush with the hub. Locate the spindle nut wrench on the rear left side of the mower. Remove the nut wrench from the mower. Use the safe cut spindle nut wrench to reinstall the torque nut onto the spindle and torque to 220 foot-pounds, or 300 newtons. When torquing, make sure that the socket is at 90 degrees to the spindle as depicted. Install the two M10 bolts and washers, torque to 30 foot-pounds, or 55 newtons. Reinstall the cutter bar disc and torque to 63 foot-pounds, or 85 newtons. Your shear pin is now replaced. If you have further questions regarding your Macdon R1 series disc mower, then please contact your nearest Macdon dealer or contact Macdon product support for further information.